Look at me talking about the weather like it's interesting. <laughs> oh, maybe I'm the exception. You are not the exception, you are the rule. It's Rose and welcome back to Cheap Lazy Vegan and another mukbang. Today you're watching another episode of Munching Mondays, which is my mukbang series. On Mondays I do mukbang videos and mukbang is an eating show. So we're gonna eat together and we're gonna chat. So if that's your thing, then don't forget to subscribe. And today guys, I may have the healthiest mukbang I've ever done, my friends. Today we are continuing the Support Local series where I support local vegan establishments here in my city. And today I got the food from a place called raw eatery. Yes, this is the healthiest mukbang I've ever done. Uh, I just figured I needed something healthy. And this isn't all raw, I believe. Like, this is not raw, technically, I think. Actually, I don't know. I don't really know what constitutes raw. Maybe it's all raw. I think they do have some cooked stuff. But anyways, they do have mostly raw. So we've got some raw vegan sushi, which I'm very excited about. We have a raw lasagna, you guys. Oh my god. I don't think the camera is doing it justice, but it looks really good. Lots of sauce. Looks super good. And we also have some um, spring rolls, like fresh spring rolls. And I also got a dessert. I chose like dessert of the day. And apparently it's an Oreo sandwich. And I'm so happy about that. Ooh. I think this is also a raw Oreo sandwich. Ooh, fancy. I'm gonna put this here. So there you go. There is my little feast, or my pretty big feast, actually, but still probably the healthiest I've ever eaten on this channel, on a mukbang video. Oh, for those of you that don't know, I live in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. So all the information about raw eatery will be in the description box. I did purchase everything with my money. Let's dig in. Very exciting. So I kind of want to start with the sushi because it's very exciting. It comes with this like sauce. Now I tried to make it as presentable as possible because it's hard to make things presentable when they come in the takeout boxes and then you have to like take it out. It like kind of messes up the presentation. So I tried my best guys, but yeah, let me know what you think of the presentation. Oh my gosh. So I don't really know exactly what's in this, but I'll tell you if I find out. Raw vegan sushi. Mmm. What is that? That's so good. Mmm. It tastes nutty. I definitely think there's some nut action. Mm-hmm. Very flavorful. Lots of different flavors. Very good crunch. Oh my god, it's actually really good. So apparently there's cucumber, avocado, carrots, house-made salmon pate wrapped in nori and a fermented sriracha tahini dip and pickled cabbage. Mm. Guys, I am totally down for this. I'm gonna eat one from this side. And this is the dip that um, there's more in the in the in the box, which I want to like scrape off. Mmm. Ooh, that salmon pate though, it's so good. Mmm. Mmm. There's so much flavor. I love it. Who knew raw vegan sushi? I'm gonna try the spring roll. I believe this one has smoked tofu. That's the main reason why I wanted it. Mmm. Mmm. Would this count as raw? I don't think so, right? Mmm. The sauce is really good. You can never go wrong with fresh rolls. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Everything tastes so fresh and really delicious. Did you ever think I would eat like raw vegan food? See, this is the type of raw vegan food I can get down with, you know? Not like, you know, 20 banana smoothies. You know what I'm saying? Okay, we're gonna try this lasagna because it looks epic. Mmm. Mmm. There's some sort of like tomato-y meat situation. There's definitely like a ricotta. I don't know what the ricotta is made of, but. Mmm. Mmm. It's like a lot of flavor. Mm. 
this is the raw food I can get down with. You know what I want to do? I want to try something crazy. Let's put a little bit of that on here. Oh my god. Mm-mm. Cheers. <sighs> that is my grapefruit bubbly. So I was a bit concerned when I got this food because I was like, I don't know if it's gonna be filling enough because you guys know me, I have a very, you know, healthy appetite, if you will. But I feel like I could be very full because this especially is like very dense. Like I can feel there's probably like cashews in here, like lots of nuts. That's the thing with like raw food, like raw vegan food. I find that unless you're doing like high carb, low fat, People eat like lots of nuts, like high fat stuff because that's how you make things like taste really good. <laughs> and also that's like kind of how you get your calories. Otherwise you have to eat like so much food. Mm -hmm. Okay, I got a knife so I can dig into this lasagna like a proper lady. Mm. So there's the zucchini noodles. Mmm. Mmm. See, if I went, if I went raw vegan and you fed me this food for like a week, I would be okay with it. I would definitely be okay with it. Maybe not a week. <laughs> I still, I still like my cooked food. <laughs> If I went to some like raw vegan retreat in Hawaii or something and I was eating like this for a week, I think I'd be pretty happy. Mmm. Mmm. Sushi is my favorite. So good. The nori. God, why is nori so good? Seaweed is the best. I don't understand why people don't like seaweed. More of this. Mm -mm. Mm. <laughs> so guys, how are you? It is so cold outside right now. Today is minus, it feels like it's minus 33 degrees. Ugh. Why do I live here? Ugh. Let's mix this again. I mean, minus 33. For those of you that live in like warm climates, you probably can't even imagine it, can you? This combination is like strangely good. <laughs> mm. But yeah, minus 33 guys with wind chill. I have not gone outside today. <sighs> Honestly, this stuff is delicious, but it's very like heavy in like a healthy, heavy way. It's like eating like tons of nuts, right? So I, I don't even know if I can finish all this, but I kind of want to try this dessert, the Oreo cookie. Healthy Oreo cookie. Woo! Mmm, delicious. Kind of reminds me of like energy balls. Woo! Very decadent. See, that's another example. It's like delicious, but it's like you can't eat like too much of it. Do you know what I mean? So maybe I'll save some of this for later. All right, guys. But the sushi, I'm probably gonna finish. Mmm. <laughs> so. Minus 33. Well, with wind chill. We had a very delayed winter because usually 
we get this type of winter starting from like maybe January, but our January is actually very warm. And then February is now when it's like really cold. And my worry is that we've just delayed winter. I'm just hoping that that's not the case, but who knows? It's either it's gonna be a shorter winter or we delayed winter. So it's gonna be like minus 30 until like May. Look at me talking about the weather like it's interesting. <laughs> mm. There's nothing else to talk about, guys. All I do is work. Hmm? Today, for example. I think this is the third video I'm filming today. Am I crazy? A little bit. Ah! No, I've broken it. Mmm. Mmm. Remember back in the day when the whole raw vegan thing was like huge? Were any of you guys raw vegan? <laughs> I'll tell you, I was a bit tempted, okay? But then I tried to do like, did I try to do raw or did I try to do like raw till four? Either way, I tried. I couldn't last past noon. <laughs> I was trying to do like the whole high carb, low fat thing because that was like what was advertised. This was like 10 years ago. So I tried to do that and um, yeah, it could not succeed could not I just couldn't stomach so much fruit I remember buying like I don't think I bought too much but I bought some fruit and I was like is this really like is this what it, is this what it means I have to eat this and only this so no I could not do it and um thank god I couldn't do it because I think I would have uh, hated my life just a little bit just a little bit oh my god and now There has been some drama. There's always drama, of course. So I follow a lot of different types of people. Like in the vegan community, of course. I also follow like a lot of people in the fitness community, people that talk about like diet and fitness and health. I also follow a lot of like political channels as well. And um, sometimes beauty channels, although I'm not into like beauty, like makeup tutorials that much. Mm. There's a girl, her name is Jen Peach, and she's been like kind of on my feed recently, people talking about her. I don't know why, I just got like randomly recommended this video from a different channel that I've never seen before. And this person was talking about this girl that is apparently vegan and she is like an ED survivor. And I guess like the controversy is that she's now saying she eats 4,000 calories a day and she's a very, very like petite woman. like. She is skinnier than me. Like she does look like she has a lot of muscle, but it's also like not big muscles. Like it's just kind of very lean muscle. And she has like pretty much no fat on her body, like very little fat. And apparently she eats 4,000 calories. And then a lot of people in the fitness community are like calling her out saying that she's lying about eating so much. But then I'm like very confused because like, you know, there was a time when I mean, I'm sure there are still people that do this. There was a time in the vegan community where a lot of people were claiming to eat so much food and they were like super lean and skinny. Like they were saying that they were eating 3,000, 4,000 calories a day and almost acting like they didn't do too much exercise. Although I'm pretty sure that's why they ate so much because they were exercising so much. Um, but I don't know. How is it possible? She's getting a lot of backlash it seems and she's not a very big channel so i don't really know but um yeah and but she's not doing even like high carb low fat i think she's just kind of eating vegan like she's eating pretty high protein as well but maybe she's like again i don't know the story but maybe she's recovering and when you're recovering you kind of like need to eat a lot but then wouldn't you gain a bunch of weight when you're recovering i don't know anyway it's very confusing what are your thoughts do you guys know about this story it's not really a story. <laughs> mm. 
I'm a weirdo. And I like to eat the dessert with my meal sometimes because I like the contrast of the sweet and the savory. Anyone else? Like if I'm eating like chips or popcorn or something, I like to have like a cookie on the side so I can alternate between the two different tastes, you know? And that's how you overeat. <laughs> Very interesting. And then I got to thinking though, because there's so many, maybe not so many, but there's like channels that do mukbang videos. You know, like obviously I do mukbang. I've talked about this before because I'm like very confused, amazed, not sure what to believe. There's channels that eat so much. Like these girls that are probably my size or maybe even smaller. Like you guys think I eat a lot. Like these people are eating 10 packs of noodles, 10 packs of instant noodles in one sitting, okay? And they're pumping out videos like very often. Okay, and I'm like, do they, do they purge? <laughs> and no one really calls them out on that. See, that's another thing that I'm like, mm. you know, this girl, she gets called out, but then what about all these other people? I guess they're not like fitness channels, so that's the difference. Like this girl is like maybe giving advice when she shouldn't be, and that's definitely a big difference. Whereas like someone just eating in front of the camera is not really advice, it's just kind of like entertainment, I guess. But yeah, these channels, okay, if you're eating 10 packages of instant noodles, each package is around 500 calories. That is 5,000 calories per sitting, okay? You cannot burn that off. Like, are they like genetically, like are they just genetically burning that much? Like what is happening, right? This is why I'm confused. Are they actually all purging? That's another question. Are they really though? The thing is, if they were purging, I feel like there'd be like some physical signs. No? I don't know. I'm not a, I'm not an expert. I'm sorry guys. I should have probably did a trigger warning or something when talking about this, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Like competitive eaters, for example, are they all purging after? Matt Stoney, that guy that's like huge on YouTube, he eats like so much. Is he purging or is he like a genetic, you know, genetic uh, outlier, <laughs> if you will? I don't know. Like, is it realistic to be purging all of that? But is it also realistic to not gain any weight? Yeah. There are some people that have like issues like with food and, you know, that definitely have some sort of genetic issue where they can't gain weight no matter how much they can eat, right? I think. So maybe those are those types of people. I don't know. Mm. I'd like to spend a day with one of these people and find out. Mm. What do you guys think? Do you think they throw it up? <laughs> I don't get it. Unless they're literally exercising. Hmm. How much would you have to exercise? I imagine they probably don't eat all day and then just eat one meal. So let's say their whole daily caloric intake is 5,000 from 10 packs of ramen. Uh, yes, I've seen girls smaller than me eat 10 packs of ramen. And 5,000 is being very conservative. So they're eating 10 packs of ramen. 5,000 calories. <sighs> so I, I think the most I burnt through exercise that I can recall from like, you know, tracking is around a little over 600 calories from jogging, okay? And that took me a little over an hour of jogging, okay? So that's 600 calories. So you would have to jog. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't do math right now, okay? You'd have to jog at least three hours to burn 1,800 calories, right? Something fishy is going on. 
but I don't know what to believe. <laughs> but these are obviously the outliers. They are the exception. Most people fall into the norm, okay? Most people are not the exception, they're the rule. And the rule is if you overeat, you're gonna gain weight over time. Not if you overeat once, but if you overeat consistently, then yeah, you're gonna gain weight over time. That is the rule, okay? Don't watch these exceptions and think, oh, maybe I'm the exception. You are never the exception, okay? That's the mindset you need to go into life. <laughs> it's like when people go on like crash diets, okay? And they think, hmm, a lot of people have, they think very highly of themselves, okay? Most of us think very highly of ourselves and our ability to have like willpower. We're like, ah, we're not like those people. I have willpower. You know, I can do it. It can't be that hard. Once I, you know, once I starve myself for a week and then I lose the weight, then I'll be fine. I'll just eat at maintenance. But <laughs> that's not how it works, okay? I'm sure people that are addicted to heroin did not go into doing heroin thinking, I'm gonna be addicted to heroin. They probably thought, ah, I'll be fine. You are not the exception, you are the rule. Very important lessons from the lovely movie, He's Just Not That Into You. And that, my friends, concludes this mukbang. This was very delicious, but it is very, very dense. Very decadent, very dense. So I'm gonna finish this later and enjoy myself later. This might be one of the few times I've actually left some food on the table. Usually I clean it up, but this is definitely like hard to like binge on, okay? So I'm definitely gonna finish this probably tomorrow, uh, but I really enjoyed it. Everything was delicious. Anyways, um, random discussions as always. I never know what to talk about in these videos and then I kind of start talking and then my mind just goes into random places. Uh, let me know if you want me to talk about anything specific. That'll be helpful actually because I just sometimes need a little direction, you know? Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching as always and eating with me. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!